Good morning, my lawn lovers. Rich lawns. So we can see the moss is kicking in. Good morning, my lawn lovers. Rich lawns, of course it is. Right, early January on a customer's lawn. Yeah, of course. Let's uh, let's crack on. I'll spin this round for you. You know the moss on this front lawn. I'm going to do the front lawn first. Has certainly kicked in. It had already started to kick in on my previous visit eight weeks ago. So I am here initially to put down a fertilizer, which has got some iron in there, which will control it. Just looking around though, I will be advising the customer as I did on my previous visit. My advice would be to get a total moss killer down as soon as possible and let's get this lawn scarified back end of February, early March. But I'll just spin this round so you can have a gander. So you can see the moss here that's kicking in. As we know, well, as I've tried to advise you, moss loves the damp, wet, overcast conditions. Yeah, it's kicking in and We've got some on this small strip over here. Just typical, really, at this time of year. So, just a few leaves on the lawn, which I'm just gonna blow off before we get this uh, fertilizer down. So that's the lawn prepared in terms of getting the leaves off. Really important, you don't want to leave wet, decaying leaves on your lawn. Certainly with the weather, damp, wet, overcast conditions. By leaving them on there, you are potentially looking at further problems down the line in terms of uh, the encouragement of more moss and, you know, garden diseases. Right, let's get the food down, fertilizer. Okay, folks, I've got a Green Master 6510 plus 6%, and it is that 6% at this time of year that really is going to be vitally important to your lawn. The 6% being the iron, it will control, keep the moss at bay. I will point out though, especially at this time of year, it's really important because we're going to be moving on to scarification pretty soon. This is not a total moss killer. I have got that booked in, so you'll see me put that down. That's a liquid application that is really effective. You put a total moss killer down and literally whilst you're on the lawn, you will see the moss turning really dark in color. What I'm doing here by putting my hand into the fertilizer and applying it to the lawn it's just a more direct hit i'm only doing that on top of the moss it's effective right then my lawn lovers onto the rear garden so to be perfectly clear particularly with me how i run my business how i treat my customers i'm not just here to turn up and randomly start throwing down treatments just for the sake of it what I am here to do is to visually respond to what the lawn is telling me. And at the end of a working day, I always send a nice detailed report to all of my customers. So they've got full confirmation from me as to what I've seen. I'll then put a plan of action in place. And of course, every customer has a budget, but at least I've made the customer aware of what's going on on the lawn and how we can make some immediate improvements. So I'll spin this round for you. But as with the front lawn, yes, there is, you know, a fair amount of moss here. So it will be my advice going forward, should they wish to do so, to get a total moss killer down. That needs to be down for about three to four weeks which will then get us into the back end of February. And let's get scarified and uh, get some new seeds down. 
So we can see the moss is kicking in. We can also see a lot of worm casts, which again, I'll advise my customer on. I can deal with those, but again, it's all subject to, to budget. But the main garden nasty, the moss, moss all over the place. It's certainly not infested, if I'm honest with you. I have certainly seen a lot worse, but you can see the moss. It particularly loves the edges. Okay, let's get the uh, let's get the fertilizer down. Good morning, my lawn lovers. Rich lawns, rock on. Okay, on a customer's lawn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course I am. I'll spin this round for you in a second here to put down some food fertilizer nutrients really important get one down at least every eight weeks i'll spin this round for you in a second a little bit of work to be done if i'm honest with you on this lawn but nothing that isn't achievable when i say a little bit of work just to get it ready prime time for you know april onwards ready for the summer some leaves on the lawn so I'm, some leaves on the lawn so i need to get those off first a little bit of winter damage has kicked in. The lawn has thinned out slightly, so we'll definitely be advising to my customer. You know, let's let's look at some light scarification and definitely some uh, overseeding. I'll just spin this round for you. You can see the areas where it's thinned out. In fact, you know, there's quite a few areas here, so. That's what we really need to be focusing in on. And as you probably know, seeding definitely March onwards, weather permitting. So let's get these leaves off first. Right then, so I've got the leaves off the lawn, so I'm going to put fertilizer down. I've got a Green Master 6510 plus 6%, 6% being the iron, absolutely perfect for this time of year for controlling and dealing with moss. Good morning, my lawn lovers. Rich Lawns, rock on. Friday, couple of weeks into January. Just wanted to apologize for the lack of footage this week, although I'm apologizing completely out of my control. You can see the frost still on this lawn. It's about 11 o'clock on a Friday, like I've just said. So I'm apologizing, I know it's frustrating, but on that note, it is worth me just pointing out to those of you that do look after your lawn at home and you don't get somebody like me involved, whether or not that's a good thing or not, I don't know. <laughs> Overnight frost that sticks around throughout early morning, late afternoon, just stay off the lawn, full stop in terms of me being a lawn care professional, absolutely, definitely stay off the lawn. Don't even be tempted to crack on. I know I keep on going on about the importance of putting in the work now to get it ready, you know, for early summer. You know, this is absolutely a no-no. So don't even be tempted to walk on the lawn when there's frost on the lawn, that can be damaging and absolutely no treatments whatsoever. Weather's looking good for next week, so fingers crossed we should be, uh, well, I will be back on the lawns showing you what's involved in getting your lawn ready for the warmer months. Now then my lawn lovers, press up there to look at this week's episode, press up there to look at my previous episodes, what I really, really want you to do, press that button right now to subscribe. Rich Lawns.